<laughs> What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm doing something a little exciting. Now y'all know I'm the first impressions motherfucking queen up in here and one of my favorite brands, Gucci, they, now they put out makeup a while ago. It was kind of like hit or miss. Not a lot of people talked about it. It wasn't really like advertised everywhere. I haven't really seen a lot of YouTubers or makeup artists or really anyone in general like fully embrace the Gucci beauty brand. Um, I've used a lot of it on my channel before. I love the eyeshadow palettes. I love their primer. Where's that fucking primer at girl? Yes, the Gucci face silk primer is so good. Of course, I've been using this under foundation for a while now for the last few months, but then, 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 they had to go and drop a new foundation. Now, here's the weird part, is I was looking online and Gucci.com, for some reason, does not have the foundation yet. It says, coming soon, not available. But I was on NeimanMarcus.com and they actually launched it early. So you know my bitch ass was like, hi, overnight shipping right now. I gotta film with this. On Neiman Marcus is where you guys can find this foundation right now. Hopefully it will start to, you know, go and spread out their wings and get into all the retail stores. But for now, woo! Let's talk about this foundation. Now y'all know I am a Gucci whore. I love their clothing, I love their stuff. So I was actually online looking for a new purse. I'm like, okay foundation, have a seat, one second. And they just put out new bags and had to get this amazing like sky blue with the embroidery, oh my god. <sighs> Um, this was just everything. So I was like, okay, girl, yes, I found my bag. Holler, it's not sold out yet. And then this foundation slapped me in my face and I was like, what bag? So these retail for $65, bam. And I'm like, okay, I mean, you guys know I love a luxury foundation. Giorgio Armani's Luminous Silk is one of my favorites and that is actually the same price point. So I wasn't like really taken aback. We all know you're paying for the fucking luxury name of the stuff and a lot of the times, high-end foundations are amazing. I've had a good success rate on this channel with the luxury foundations. So, I'm gonna talk about this guy for a minute and then we're gonna do a full review. I'm gonna put it on and we're gonna see what the hell happens. So, I have not even tried this yet. I opened up the box this morning. Now, here's the problem with online shopping. Who's with me? How do you find your damn shade? Well, you don't. Um, but if you do a lot of online shopping, you can kind of guess by clicking the little shades on the website. I mean, mm, it's kind of a hit or miss. So me, I got three shades because I'm like, how am I really supposed to know? And the shade, like, names are weird. It's like 030, 070, 090. And that was in my cool toned, fair type of range. Now here's the only problem I have with Neiman Marcus. I'm gonna show you guys Hopefully we can try to see this. So I'm on the website here and there's eight shades. Now that's the only thing that makes me a little annoyed about brands when they first launch something. So I did some research on Google and it says that eventually there will be 18 shades. So I'm sitting here like, well Gucci is one of the most prestigious brands in the world. I'm sure they have a billion dollars um, and they're also owned by another company now who owns a million other brands. So I'm sitting here like, girl, you're gonna launch eight shades, that's it? There is a million people out there in the world, you at least gotta start with 20 to 25. That's just my thing. I'm like, there's not just eight skin tones out there. So that's a little annoying. Um, so I ordered three, I have no idea which ones are gonna even look good on me, so we're about to unbox these, open them up, and see what the hell is going on. Now, on the box, Unicarton comes in their standard black with gold foil, and of course it has the Gucci monograms all over it with the print. Now, I'm looking on the website, and it says that this is a refined liquid foundation with the lightweight consistency. Now, it's a satin matte finish, right? So it says it perfects the skin thanks to the 3D micro pearls, ooh, the foil formula emphasizes the natural contours of the face and provides a matte finish. The three-dimensional pearl delivers this look by scattering light reflection, creating a multiple shaded effect when skin is viewed from different angles. Oh my god, so if I'm in the bed, I'm getting fucking flipped around, girl. My skin's gonna look good every angle. I'm down for that. So I guess, okay, let's close this up. Oh, and this has SPF 20 in it, which sometimes the SPF can make the foundation look weird once it settles and oxidizes, so that will be interesting. Now this has one fluid ounce, just one. So I'm like, okay, let me grab some other foundations to compare. This Armani one has one fluid ounce. Okay, there's another one. 
The Too Faced one has one fluid ounce. Okay, so I guess that is very standard in the foundation world. I'm just curious about my other favorite. I'm like, what's up, Dior? 2.3, okay, it is an aerosol, so I'm sure it is less product. But um, okay, so you are getting a good amount of product for, I think, your money. So let's unbox this and get started. All right, so the lightest shade I got it says 030. Let's see what these look like. Ooh, ooh. So it comes in this gorgeous frosted glass component with the shiny glass Gucci monogram all over it and the logo on the top. I love how that looks. Ooh, it feels heavy. Now I'm all about the weight of something. If something feels really lightweight to me, it just feels kind of like, eh, cheap, they didn't really care. This feels nice. I mean, you never know how the color, of course, is gonna look until you open it up and swatch your skin. So this is that shade. And then 070, it looked like it was one shade darker. Oh, okay. This one might be the winner. So, okay, let me just open the other one. And then 090 looked a little more bronzy for me, but sometimes I like to mix and match. Oh my God, you guys, that's the lightest one. Second to lightest, and then the darker one. Okay, I'm gonna try the, well, I think the smart thing to do, and first of all, I think it would be a good idea to try one side with a damp beauty blender and the other side with the Artiste oval brush and just see how they blend because sometimes I'll put on a foundation and this makes it look flawless and other times not so much and then this one comes in and just slays the day so I'm like, you know what, we're gonna do a little half and half and see how they blend out. Now I think the only thing that's fair would be to... I guess put them on the side of my face real quickly and just see if we can get a color match. I always shake. I'm like, are you supposed to shake these? Okay guys, so I think, let's open this up. Ooh, it has a beautiful gold um, little chrome pump. And I'm just going to put a little, you know when you first get some, you have to pump it like six five motherfucking times. Oh, okay, barely, barely y'all. Ooh, okay, okay. That could work. Hmm. Oh, that's cute. I love a little foundation on my nose, anyone else? All right, I am also going to open up the lighter one and do the same thing. Oh my God, that looks so light. Hmm. What if I mix, you guys? Should I mix? Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to wipe this off, and then, of course, I'm going to put on primer like I normally would, and then we're going to get started. This is the three lightest shade that's like... What? what? This is so pinky or like red almost. And then what the fuck is this? Oh my God, girl, not today. All right guys, I just wiped off those little swatches. Oh my God, I put the third one on. It was so dark. Now I got the three lightest shades. This one was like straight up yellow on my skin tone. It was not good. So I'm just gonna go in with the lightest one, the 030. So it's only fair, of course, that I do primer. So I am going to use, I mean, might as well use the Gucci primer since we're doing a fucking Gucci review. Now, I love this one. I have been telling all my friends to get it. It's just like really moisturizing. Now, this is very similar to my Bobbi Brown vitamin face base that I've been loving since the beginning of time. <laughs> you guys know I used to use that a lot. Um, this is a similar product. All right, so I'm gonna take this and I guess we're gonna let that primer have a second. <sighs> I'm nervous, you guys. I'm always like, oh my God, I love this brand. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna be so disappointed. And if it works and it's amazing, thank you, hallelujah. But it's scary coming into these like, what is gonna happen? So what I normally do is I just put my foundation on my beauty blender. I don't know how thick this is. So I'm just gonna do one little dollop as they like to call it. And I'm just going to go all around. Now, if this does not match my skin tone exactly, um, that's what happens when you shop online and you don't fucking know. So, all right, let's buff this out and see what happens. Okay, so first impressions is it is very smooth looking, like, She's smooth. Now, it's not really, really matte where it's like, oh my god, my skin looks even drier. Sometimes really, really matte foundations kind of just make me look a little like, a little dry, a little Mojave Desert, if you will. The Beauty Blender definitely buffed it out really nice. Now, it is more on the medium coverage side. Now, I only used one little pump, so before I do the other side, ooh, look at that, though. The difference the foundation makes, so that discoloration and redness and the, mmm, it's like, <gasps> 
reality. <laughs> Back to reality. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do one more. We'll do a half a pump. Ooh. I basically just put on enough for probably a whole nother face. Um, but you know what? That's what I'm all about, so let's buff this out. All right, I was scared that I put too much on, but it blends out really, really nice with the beauty blender. I'm like, come on, water activation. Okay, this side is pretty damn good, you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm like, yes, yes, bitch. Yes. Okay, let's get to the Artiste brush. Now you can put it directly on the brush if you want. Sometimes I do that, but I'm just gonna see what happens today. Now I'm gonna go in with the Artiste Oval 8 brush and we're just gonna brush this on and see what happens. So usually, to me, there's a difference of just how the foundation looks when it's applied with this versus this. But I'm like kind of shook right now. I'm shocked. Um, there's really not a, a difference. So I'm looking all over and I'm like waiting for something bad to happen. It didn't really oxidize, which is nice. It really stayed the same. Now a lot of foundation. Sometimes I'll like leave the house an hour later and I'm like... <gasps> Oh my god, I look a little orange. Does anyone else have that issue? But this one, very true to color. Now, let's give my final thoughts. Let's just fucking get into it, you guys. Now, my skin has been a little more dry than normal, so I was a little afraid of what was gonna happen, but, you know, like I said earlier, putting it on with this versus a beauty blender, nothing drastic happened. To me, now that it's been a while, the Artiste one almost looks smoother, actually. Like. It just, I don't know, it even feels, no, it feels the same. This just maybe looks smoother. So that's definitely something to consider. So the pros are my skin looks great. It's very airbrushed. Um, all my discoloration is really gone. It's not too cakey where it's crazy, but I would love to quickly on camera just kind of set, like do a little concealer and set my face and then see if anything changes. But I don't really have anything negative to say. I know that's kind of shocking, but this foundation is pretty good. Now for the price point, is it as amazing as my Luminous Silk? That is the same exact price. I don't know. I love this one, I think a little more, but you know, this is obviously my first time trying this. So I definitely gonna give this a little more, I'm gonna give it a spin this week and try it out more and see um, how I really, really, feel about it long term, but it's kind of good, you guys. It's kind of good. Now, it's not so wowing where I'm like, oh my god, everyone, leave the computer and the phone and go get this right now. It's not that mind-blowing, but it's up there. It's pretty damn good. So I think it's only fair if we put on some concealer. Of course, I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape, and I'm just going to put some on and then set my face with powder foundation, and then we're just going to see uh, if anything happens. All right, so sometimes the foundation will coagulate or get weird if you put concealer over it and it doesn't like, you know, match all the time. But this one buffed and blended out. I haven't even set the under eye and it's looking very fresh. I think the last step to see if there's anything weird that is about to happen, which I don't think it is, but hey, you never know. I'm gonna go in with my, should we do Armani? Yeah, let's do the little Armani. The Luminous Silk Compact foundation. So I get asked a lot about this brush. I used it in a few videos ago. This is from one of my favorite brands called La Mer. They are a primarily a skincare brand. Now I did use their foundation before um, in a lot of videos. You know, I love it, but um, this brush is just so soft and like, oh, it just feels amazing. So I'm just going to go in with this guy and ooh, a lot came off. Holy shit. And I'm just going to press that into my skin. I think I'm gonna give my skin a little hydration because she's feeling a little dry today, which is so rare for me. I'm like, oh my God. So I'm just gonna use this Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist and just have a moment for myself. All right, guys, I think the last final thought is that this foundation is pretty damn good. I don't really see any negatives at all, which is kind of shocking. So, all right, Gucci, I will give it up to you. Now, I didn't mention this in the intro, but they came out with a foundation when they first launched their brand and it was like a luminous one. It was so sheer. Um, it reminded me of that Laura Mercier candlelight foundation. It's like really like almost like a BB cream and I didn't love it. So finally they came out with something bomb and um, I'm a fan. So I'm going to be trying this out uh, over the next few weeks and we'll see if it stays or if it goes. So I'm pleasantly surprised. I'm like, what? 
<laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video as always if you guys have any Foundations products or anything um, new that I'm missing of course sound off in the comments below and let me know um, How you you know think this looks alright guys in a few days. I am jet setting off to Hawaii for Christmas, so um, I'm off guys. I love you Mwah. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye